What's up YouTube, FT Dub here, bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making a bullet. Here's an example of what we'll be making right here. Pretty much be making the shape of the shell casing in the bullet itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing we want to do, we want to hit F4 on our keyboard to bring up the front view. You can also hit this little tab and click on the front view. And then we want to go to our spline and grab a B spline. And then we pretty much we use the red line as our center. We want to go down three from the red line right in the middle and click right there. Go over three and click again. And then between the red and the green line here just click again and then drag this over. It will create a little curved line for us. And then we'll go up probably two above the red line click again and we'll go over just to the next block and up in about a half click right there and then we're going to click right here on this line and drag it back over and then we want to click to the top drag that back over make sure your line is straight and then we want to go all the way over and just drag this up make sure your line is straight again and there we go we've got the nice little curve down here at the bottom now what we want to need to do is uh, go into our nerves and add a lathe nerves grab our spline drag it into drop it into the lathe nerve as, as a child and it gives us uh, pretty much a rounded both creates the second side put it that way and we press F1 on our keyboard and it takes us back to our main perspective. Now pretty much all we need to do is resize this. So let's uh make sure we got our tools selected. Go to our resize. We're gonna drag this up, bring it in a little bit. This pretty much makes the shell casing. Uh, hold on a minute, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and there's pretty much our shell casing. Alright, now what we need to do now, let's get this back to where we want it, right size. Click on our lathe nerves and slide it over to the side. Press F4 on your keyboard again. And bring this back to the front view. Now what we need to do is go down, well let's drag Let's grab another uh, B spline. Go down three. Click. Over three. Click again. Pretty much the same routine. Split right in through here. Drag that over. Drag it down a little bit. And then we'll go up probably two above. And then click over this way and go up high as you can. And then we'll grab us another lathe nerves. Grab that spline, drop it in the lathe nerves. F1 on your keyboard. And then click our regular movement tools. We'll hit the resize tool. Resize this in. Grab our regular tool, make sure you got lathe nerve selected to move this. Drag it up. And let's just move this over into the center a little bit. Actually we'll just grab both lathe nerves, hold shift and select the other one and just drag them both over back to the center. And just click the top one. Go back to resize, shrink that to fit, I believe that's close to what we need. Let's click off of it, there you go, pretty much got a nice bullet. Another thing we can do is uh, go into our objects and grab a torus. 
lower this down. I'm going to shrink it down. About like that. And slide it in a little bit so it's about center. We're going to make it smaller. So we grab the inside one. Shrink our ring down. Grab it out a little bit farther, but right there. Just drag that down to the bottom down there. Now what we need to do is, let's see, go and grab, go in this, grab a bull tool. Grab your torus and drop it in there. And we want to grab the casing and drag that and drop it in. And basically what that does is it extrudes that little shape that we just put on there. I'll zoom in and show you. And creates a nice little divot like the bullet has. I hope this helped you out and taught you something maybe a little bit. If it did, please give this video a like. And uh, leave any messages in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see any certain tutorials, just leave a comment below or message me on YouTube. And sorry I had to rush this, but I've been real busy lately. And thanks for watching.